Okay, so I've been looking at this backpack for a hot minute right now and I've been actually looking at it ever since like the crowdfunding days. I think that's what it called, right? When it was on a website and you had to invest in it and whatever. I think that's the story with the wonder. Now, I hope the win is not too much, but now that was the first wonder and this is the second one. Like this is called the new provoke. So it's kind of different. There are a couple of things that are different between this one and the last one, but what is more important for me today, like I want to do a series. I think it's going to be about three episodes about these backpacks. And what I want to tell you about is what you can use it for, the, the multiple possibilities. Of course, it's a, a photography backpack, like number one, but I want to tell you about different options. And Today, it's not that honest because I do want to compare it to like hiking backpacks and this is of course a photography backpack so it's not going to be an honest like, um, you know, user experience but I do want to share that with y'all because you might want to go out hiking whatever you might want to take this bag because this bag does have the photography options that a hiking bag does not have. So that's why I'm doing this video today. This is the first time, this is the first day that I got the backpack. The new one, I had the old one, but I sent it back because of some reasons. But now we're gonna check this baby out and yeah, just go through the options. Now, as I unpack the backpack in the roll top, I did bring some stuff with me, like, you know, two sets of one day clothing. So I got two Osprey packing cubes, put in a bigger one and the bigger one I will use for the dirty laundry so after the first day my travel clothes let's say will be these ones and then the next day I will use uh, a different set of clothing I will put these dirty ones in the big bag take the two little bags out of that and then you know just that's what I'm gonna do I got in the backpack a t-shirt just you know for changing it's like you know a different layer if you want to call it that and then I got like a kettle with me because I like to have a kettle with me if somewhere, somehow, you know, there's no kettle in the hotel room, whatever, then it's nice to have that with you, you know. Then I got like a toilet free bag with me, which is pretty handy to have. And that's about it. So you could survive like three days with this, with this setup, with the current setup. And this is the 21 liter. So this is definitely a weekender if you want to wear or take all that stuff with you. I would say one day out is better, but definitely, you know, worth it. Now you did see that I showed you that my back was all sweaty. So I was cycling for about 20 minutes, I'm thinking. And after taking the bag off, like for the first time, after 20 minutes of cycling, my back was wet in exactly the spots where like these, you know, come. How do you call it? Like where the suspension is, like here and up here, which would make sense because the airflow might be good, but not in those places because they are, you know, pressed against your back. So it does make sense, you know. It's not like it's a bad thing. And believe me, I had a lot of backpacks, and it's very hard to find a backpack that would not make you sweat. So. I don't want to give it a bad point for that, but if you want to do hiking, if you want to use it for hiking, this might not be the best option. However, I'm telling you, if you want to have photography options out there, then this might be coming in. So you give and take a little, you know, it's either one of those things that you want to have. Some more things that I brought with me are like, uh, you know, hygiene stuff, toilet free things, and that is what I put in the, how do you call this? Like, this compartment up here that's where I put it then I got like some stuff in the front pocket I'm not sure what I put in there but I can show you guys like oh yeah these are like my travel cutleries and all you know like I got my coffee I got my my plates and my cups in here and all that so a little bit of food stuff that I put in here and what more this is about it of course you know that you can put like the like your documents up here, you know, there's like a hidden pocket where you can put your stuff, and nobody can reach it, like tickets, whatever, it's out there. I don't have anything in that today, but this is just my first user experience and I just want to tell you 
how I'm feeling about it, putting it in a situation that it normally would not be. But since it has a road top and it's like this traveler's, do they call it like digital nomad backpack? I don't know, but it's like for people that are on the go, they want to take photographs the easy way, you know. This is definitely the thing for this backpack, side axis and you want to travel, you want to bring some stuff along, then, you know, the road top is perfect for that. So because this is the first day, and I only had like a little bit of experience with the old one, I can tell you what the differences are, at least for me right now. So I don't even know. Oh yeah, let me think about it. So the different things that I remember about the backpack is definitely the back. This used to be way different, but I'll cover that. In the next video this strap up here like the chest strap is also very different like from the from the last one like if you are busy like cycling or hiking or whatever and you just want to take this and you know strap or unstrap it and you need to use two hands it's just more you know you need more hands okay that was silly but whatever so if you're hiking cycling whatever and you are only or you have only one arm available or hand to strap or unstrap this for whatever reason you're gonna do that then it's very handy to have this because this is just a system where you pull that's it and then if you want to put it on again click it on again that's it you need one hand with all systems like these ones it's easy to open it up with one hand but if you want to put it back together you will never have this handle you know covered with one arm or one hand because it's just not doable this will be all over the place and you'll be like you know cycling whatever it's dangerous and trying to find the other part so that's just not let's say the best system if you got one arm or one hand to use at the moment that you're doing stuff so the one arm system or this system however they call it you know it's perfect and there you go you pull it and we want to put it back you know it's just one hand that's it easy now what is different what is different what is different so of course they did change this hidden compartment which I think used to be here like this long pocket and now they changed up in here where this loop is for like um, like a traveler's bag or whatever so you can put it through that and in there is like the hidden pocket so yeah that's the difference I did notice there's no rain fly with this one I don't know why this is the photography bundle and I don't know what the rain fly is not there it wasn't the last one like the old provoke original provoke but now it's not there so I don't know why however you know you do get these waist straps and you do get these straps the compression straps with the new provokes so that's all good and that's that and of course one of the biggest changes is also like on the inside that whole um, inner pocket it's way different and you got the pull zips which is also way different which is kind of cool to use it's a good idea wondered so a big thumbs up for that one and that's about it for it uh, for today so i just wanted to give you some ideas about going out for a weekend with the backpack okay that's it for the first video i'm excited to show you the next one and for now i would say peace out because i'm going out cycling Look how cool they thought about this. Like, you can hide these straps underneath the waist straps. How cool is that? Biceps. There's no video about that.
Did you guys see a video about that? I didn't see one first time. You saw right here. Thank you very much. Peace out. But yeah, so like this, I feel that, okay, it is where it should be, like up here, but you do notice that it goes to the back now. Like, maybe because of, of the heaviness of the bag, I don't know, because it's not that heavy after all, you know? Like, I don't get that. There's only like the, the weekend stuff up in the backpack, the camera's not even in the backpack. So, you know, the, those straps that you got on the top, like, you know, to compress it a little bit more, are not on this one, or are they? Nope. So I do feel like that is an issue that, you know, is not as comfortable as using a hiking backpack. But again, you gotta compromise. Now closing my straps, like the bottom compression straps for the tripod is super easy on this backpack. Like, just grab them, easy to get by. There you go, close you. I do like this feature, let's call it that way, let's call it the feature. I do like it this backpack that you know it's real uh, photography backpack this still feels a little weird but I can get around it you know especially now I found out that they made this cool feature right here now I don't want to show you one thing like what fits in here just because I'm gonna you know I get to it today so my headphones Bluetooth headphones and this is not as big or high or you know but it does fit exactly but real exactly that's like the only thing you fit in there and I have to like you know have to try it and you know hope it's not gonna break but there you go like my wireless headphones like Bluetooth headphones fit in there okay and they got cool straps for my sunglasses where to put it in it's like a couple of them that's so cool Why did I do that? 